Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about what they're thinking, feeling about you, how they view you or this connection, and what do they wish they could tell you? What are their intentions towards you? We'll look at all of that today for Virgo. All right, Spirit Angels, guys, what messages do you have for Virgo when it comes to love? Virgo spirit, what do they need to know regarding love? Expectation number 28. So someone's waiting for something. You or your person. What else for Virgo? Community, number 39. Let me look at that card real quick. I had it for another reading and I got an immediate message, but this time I looked at it and I was like, uh, let me look at it real quick in the book. Friends, community, support, People around you, family, friends, co-workers, teamwork. It's interesting. I'm getting almost like there's an expectation here. Someone's waiting for something regarding a group of people. We'll see. We'll see when I... Look at the tarot let's jump into this for virgo spirit what messages do you have for virgo regarding love for virgo what do they need to know regarding love So in the recent past, we have the Knight of Swords reversed. In your energy, we have the Ace of Swords and the Devil reverse. Freedom is what I heard. Like literally cutting down, cutting off the shackles, the chains. In the present, we have the Four of Wands and the Chariot, wow. Cancer energy with the chariot, moving forward, success, being on the right path, stability, home life, domestic bliss. Someone could be visiting you at home as well, coming to see you. In their um, energy, we have the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Again, I, I'm, I'm picturing someone to, to, that lets go of a burden and literally like rushes in. Like now that they have no more weight holding them down, they can move a lot quicker. In the near future, we have the world reverse. So something's not fully over or not fully begun. There could be a delay here or a lack of closure. Bottom of the deck, we have the two of swords reverse. Um, this is a difficult decision that has been made. So let's clarify and see what these are all about. We'll start with the past here. The Knight of Swords reverse. Typically, this is some some sort of um, verbal conflict. Someone that um, could have been deceptive. Um, this could also be a blocked message. So we'll see. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Seven of Wands. I feel like there was some sort of challenge here. 
someone had to defend themselves, stand up for themselves, stand up against, it could be even standing up against their own family. The full reverse. Interesting. I feel like I feel like someone's fighting for their freedom here. And I think this has something to do with long-term stability, a long-term commitment. There was some sort of conflict there. The full reverse could be a card about a delayed new beginning, um, having to take a reckless risk, you know, force being forced to be reckless, you know, like F it, let's just go for it. But I feel like this is someone that's motivated because I have the five of cups reverse. So it's like they want to overcome the past regain something they've lost and maybe that requires some sort of new beginning here something they have to fight for and i think this might be you because you've freed yourself from something let's see we'll skip over you and look at what's going on here and then we'll jump into your energies tell me about this four of wands and it's funny because i'm getting the community energy here there's multiple people in this card community card and there's multiple people here in the Four of Wands, in this deck in particular, there's people in the background, friends, family, like a party or something, co-workers, friends, family, etc. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Queen of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? King of Cups. Interesting. It's like almost like two people meet in this scenario or two people are attracted to each other. This could be a partnership, wedding, celebration, networking event, something like that. I feel like two people meet in this instance or see each other. Maybe this is them, you know, like, this could even be like meeting at someone else's wedding. <laughs> Tell me more about the Four of Wands. What do we need to know about these Four of Wands? Four of Wands is a card about stability. Ooh, Strength Reverse, Leo Energy. Strength Reverse could be a card about lack of courage not having enough courage not being able to bring something into balance why is strength reverse why is strength reverse eight of cups reverse interesting this might be okay i'm getting so many messages right now I'm just going to mention the two that stick out the most to me. I feel like this is someone departing or leaving a situation or trying to leave a situation. But I don't know if it's leaving a situation to come to you. Or if this is like leaving a situation that you are in with this person. I'm, you know, it could go either way. But basically what I'm getting is someone that's trying to leave a situation or come back to a situation and the courage isn't there the love is the attraction is but the courage isn't there to make it happen 
tell me about the chariot this could be a card about travel long distance movement moving forward tell me about the chariot six of cups reverse tell me about the chariot two of swords reverse yeah this is that difficult choice someone has made a choice regarding the past and it's to make some sort of move here can we get one more please for the chariot page of swords it's like they want to come in to talk to you they're motivated i think it's this person this person is making a move of some sort and it's quickly too it's like they want to talk about something that happened in the past maybe they want to tell you about the choice they've made this could be you or your person virgo so let's see how are you thinking about each other Virgo, I have your energy here and your person's energy on this side, but it can be vice versa. So feel free to flip it if it resonates more. So let's see. Let me get some sort, some more insight into your energy. Spirit, tell me more about Virgo and their person. Give me some insight into this person, please. Tell me more about Virgo. And their person okay Virgo I think this is you but I'm gonna put this back because I didn't specifically say who it was for so I'll just put it here in the actually instead of putting it back I'll put it here in the middle difficult decision okay tell me about Virgo's energy tell me about Virgo's energy okay I don't know which one fell I saw strong bonds, but then I have victory lap. Sorry, I'm putting that back. If one of those is meant to come out, it will. Spirit, tell me about Virgo's energy. Tell me about Virgo. Unexpected event, revelation, upheaval, endings. Some sort of tower moment here, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo's person. God, that one just wanted to come out. Aw, coming together, reunion, destiny, meeting. Destiny has brought you together. So I feel like there's some, I feel like you're, one of you is waiting for the other. This person, they're thinking about coming together with you, having some sort of reunion with you, which makes sense because they, there's the chariot here. Now with the unexpected event, I don't know if you might not expect this person's arrival or something like that, but you are cutting loose something or having some sort of clarity here. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What's the Ace of Swords about? Ace of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. The sun reverse, wow. So it's like you want to talk about some sort of loss, broken commitment, whether it's happened in the past or it's happening now. Maybe you want clarity regarding a broken commitment. Tell me about devil reverse, why is the devil reverse? Here's the devil reverse death card scorpio energy yeah i feel like there's something here that's changing for you you're breaking free of something and there's the tower wow so some sort of tower moment has happened in your life virgo and i feel like it's allowed you to break free um maybe it's allowed you to take off the shackles or walk away from something that wasn't healthy. Um, interesting. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Page of Wands reverse. 
There's the Ten of Wands here. Page of Pentacles. Interesting. And they have the Two of Pentacles. So going back and forth, back and forth, weighing their options, juggling. You know, maybe this is someone that's very busy, has a lot going on. Maybe they can't decide um, because I have the Page of Wands reversed and then the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Wands reverse, they tend to, I don't know, it's almost like they take one step forward, two steps back. Uh, they don't really finish what they start. Um, sometimes they are fearful. Rather than being bold and risk takers, they, they hesitate. So this could be somebody that is trying to take things slow, make the right choice with the Page of Pentacles. They take their time. And I think it's because they've they're dealing with a lot right now. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Four of Cups reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles reverse. Three of Pentacles. Four of Cups reverse is a card about renewed interest. What you weren't interested in before or satisfied by before, you are now open to it. Nine of Pentacles reverse. This is someone that's not very stable, not very secure in themselves, attached to something, not very free. Can I get one more for the Knight of Pentacles? This one. Magician reverse. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that this person wants to kind of move quickly. And I feel like every time they try to move quickly on something, they get stuck something doesn't work out for them and i have the queen of pentacles reversed maybe it could be a person wow and then i have the ten of swords right after that so they might be trying to end a cycle here and they're prevented from doing so or can't move as quickly as they would hope because i feel this is the person that kind of wants to jump in the car and like run or you know just get on the get in the car and go um but they're attached to something here. Or maybe they're just fearful. I think you've been waiting to hear from this person. I think you will have some sort of communication with them. I have the Page of Swords here. It might even be a, a communication you don't expect. Because you have the Tower. I feel like... There's something, they could even be telling you that they're getting out of a, an un unhealthy situation. Or you're telling them that you're getting out of an unhealthy situation. Something like that. So let's see. What about this world reverse in the near future? Alright, tell me about the world reverse. What's this world reverse about? Five of Wands. Oh. Two of Cups reverse. My goodness. We have Three of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Conflict drama here. There could be like a dramatic separation or dramatic disconnect with within a group of people. So I have the Three of Pentacles again with the Five of, Pen of Wands. Why is the High Priestess here? High Priestess, very mysterious energy, keeps things to herself, secrets, you know, the Empress. Interesting. I feel like this cycle, 
whoever is needing to end a cycle, which I feel is your person, they're prevented or delayed from doing so. They're dealing with a lot right now, and it has to do with different people. I don't know if they're married with the Four of Wands here, the Empress is here. I had the Ten of Pentacles. So I don't know if this person is married or if you, um, if, if there's something to do with family. I feel like there is a partnership here between you and this person. There's a connection here, despite the fact that one of you is in this situation. Um, again, I have a feeling that maybe you're dealing also with the possibility of someone coming to visit you at your home. I still see that. I can, you know, if that's the case, you're not, you're not expecting that. But I feel like regardless of which situation this is, uh, the more important part is that something cannot officially get started or closed here. And I think it's because of a particular person or a group of people. And it's almost like this high priestess with the empress, it's almost like someone's hiding a valuable person or keeping this person like, I don't know, like there's a secret surrounding this person. It's very strange. Um, check out the extended if you want to know more about this person. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. Leave me a comment if this resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.